Welcome to your first day in a real suit of armor, New Blood Ransom. I'm Lieutenant Donaton, and I'll be walking you through your equipment training. You're operating a standard light class combat armor suit. You'll notice that the real thing feels quite a bit different than the VR training you've already had. We'll begin by calibrating your vision systems. Let's start off by having you look up by pulling the right analog stick back. Position calibrated. Now, look down by pushing the right analog stick forwards. Position calibrated. Now, let's get you moving around in that armor. You can turn by moving the right analog stick left or right. Turn left and right now. Good. I'm now going to enable your suit's locomotion systems. The first thing I want you to do is get used to moving forward and back in your armor. To move forward, push the left analog stick up. Move forward now. Good. To move back, pull the left analog stick back. Move back now. Easy enough. Now, you can move sideways or strafe by moving the left analog stick left and right. This will allow you to remain facing forward while performing evasive maneuvers. Strafe left and right now. By the way, if you didn't notice, the degree to which you move either analog stick determines how quickly you move and turn. Now, let's see you test your suit's jumping capabilities. To jump, press the L1 button. When you engage your jetpack, armor control systems automatically fire your jump mechanism to help get maximum boost. Your jetpack uses armor energy and will cease to thrust once your energy is depleted. Skillful use of the jetpack is vital to the success and to the very survival of a warrior. Press and hold the R1 button to use your jetpack. Release it to stop. Now, let's test what you've learned and have a little fun. Inside the base are five control point switches. Each switch has a white waypoint so you can easily locate it. I want you to switch all five by simply touching them. I'm dropping the force fields now, so get ready, get set, go.
Good job, New Blood. Now let's review the various elements that make up your heads-up display, or HUD. These readouts give you information about your armor, packs, weapons, and status. Each part of the HUD will flash as I describe it to you. In the top left of your HUD, you'll see three bars. The green one at the top shows the condition of your armor. The green bar will decrease in size as more damage is taken, and also changes from green to yellow to red as the damage increases. If the bar completely disappears, then your armor has been damaged beyond repair, and you'll have to respawn in a fresh suit. The blue bar in the center shows your armor's energy reserve. This energy is consumed by your jetpack, certain weapons, and even some packs. The bar at the bottom shows the heat signature produced by your jetpack. If it's high enough, you will become susceptible to lock-on by heat-seeking missiles. Real-time battle updates are posted in various locations in your HUD. The updates will include messages from other warriors, mission status information, remote equipment activation stats, and more. This box is used to display scoring information. The configuration of this readout will vary from mission type to mission type. A timer is provided for time-critical missions. This is your inventory display. The topmost icon shows you the type and quantity of grenades in your possession. The icon at the bottom indicates the type and status of any pack you are carrying. Other icons can be displayed in this area as well. In the center of the screen, you will see your reticle cluster. This displays aiming crosshairs for the current weapon, as well as the available ammo count. When you have an object centered within the reticle, your suit will attempt to acquire and display information about the target, such as the range to target, target ID, and for friendly assets, the state of repair for the target. This indicator provides information about heat-seeking missiles. When it's flashing yellow, a missile device is tracking your suit's heat signature and trying to acquire a lock. When it's flashing red, a missile has locked and launched. That's it for this phase of training, New Blood. We'll cover basic weapons in your next session.